Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. We're here at Grand Bear at the Rapiscan Champions Tour event. Yeah, we're going to hit a flop shot. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. So first of all, you've got to define a flop shot, okay? It's not a cut-up shot, and it's not a straightforward chip shot. So for me, straightforward chip shot would be square club face, like so, like that. A cut-up shot, which you'd use off a firmer lie, would be a little bit open, but again, we're not really exposing this bounce. And a flop shot is when you really do open up the face and you're trying to hit it as high and as short as possible in at least that's when you're practicing it you've got to practice short so what are you trying to do you're actually trying to have a fresh air here in practice anyway so you're actually trying to slide the club underneath the golf ball and get the least amount of contact on the golf ball so the least amount of energy so again you wouldn't be able to do that with a square face slightly open club face but with a really open club face you're going to be able to slide the club under so this is me it should i i've got about 12 yards to the flag. I'm probably only going to hit this five yards if I do this right. So I've got the club laid back. Got a little bit of turf there. And that's why I kind of hit it about, I hit it too far. I actually got too much ball. I can see the golf ball on the face. I've hit it 12 yards or so. I, I've got really, I've bounced into it. I'm not happy with that in the sense of I really meant to slide underneath it. That was a much better effort like so. Okay. These are really nice lies, and I would suggest that when you practice this to start off, or give yourself the easiest lie. To that extent, I'm going to suggest that you use a tee peg. So I want you getting that feel. Okay, so I'm going to tee it up there. Setup wise, whereas a normal chip shot, you're going to be 90% of weight in your left hand side, and you're coming back exactly neutral. In this, you're laying your hands down. So you get the club and just let it fall down and you sit comfortably around that. So your hands will be lower, they'll be down, like so. The club is sitting on the back of it, like that. And what you've got to learn to do to start off with is fresh air. So I fresh aired it, perfect. The ball didn't go anywhere. Now I tee it a little lower and keep doing that. Again, perfect technique. So you keep doing that until eventually you have it teed so low. Same technique, you're trying to fresh air it that when you try and do that, you're gonna get a little bit of golf ball on the face. Just like so. That one got high in the face, the others were in the center, but I'm sliding to slide up. Another way of doing it is just go in the rough and try and fresh air it. This is a beautiful line in the rough. I can fresh air right underneath the golf ball. Just slide right underneath, like so. And eventually, as the ball sits further down, I'll probably still be able, I'd be able to do it off that lie. No, I got a little bit of club face. But you can see how high and how much of a beautiful flap shot that was. So practice trying to slide the club under, and eventually you'll learn which lies you can do it on. And then obviously you don't open the face up. So if I had a lie like that where it's sitting up, I'm not gonna open up the face because I'm now afraid of actually I'm afraid of sliding under. So I'm actually going to have the face, instead of having it fully laid back, I'm going to have it a little bit laid back. Like so. And I did get a little bit underneath that and I got a high in the face. But the technique is always about trying to slide the club. This is a beautiful lie. I can slide it under. And catch it. Okay you slide in the club under and as you get better at it you eventually learn to do things like taking the club a long way and slowing down or really going at it really hard they both went the same distance but it's all about experimenting with the speed of the swing what you feel comfortable with again i'm giving myself a nice lie here it's hitting up beautifully i can open up the face as you will see, the weight becomes 
the club falls down naturally it exposes the bounce so this would not be good in the firm fairway do not try this if you've got a very tight firm fairway a very soft you can do it with it soft but you're going to take like a bunker shot you're going to end up taking some turf with the ball uh, but off a firm fairway do not expose that bottom bit that's bounce and that's going to mean you're going to knife it okay so drop it down try and slide the club under so i'm really going all out here i got a little bit of bounce on that and that's why it didn't quite slide under but once you get used to it you get away with that that's not going to be a bad shot if it was a really tight lie i'm going to say i put it in my divot here so instead of opening up i'd probably go like 45 degrees say half it open like so and go like that okay i got a little heavy there and that's why the ball carried a little further than i wanted it okay so sit it down in the hole a little bit open again you don't see that when I'm hitting the full flop shot, I'm like here. When it's a tighter lie, I'm a little bit open, but much more. The club comes up a bit, and I'm sitting a little left. And I got a nice, tight, spinny one there. Okay. So that's there, and you can see there's a big divot. When I'm, when I'm leaning, I'm obviously going to get divot. When, I, when I'm like that, but when I'm like this, I'm just going to get... A beautiful slide underneath okay practice it in the rough practice it like that change the tempo of your swing so again if I open up there I'm going to go right underneath it so I'm not going to open this up anywhere near as much I'm going to give it halfway like so okay so it really is get used to being able to slide the club under gain the confidence of what the lie does once you can learn to slide the club under then you judge it yourself how much you want to open it up but once you've got to be able to cut cut right underneath it and fresh air it by using that tee peg or a good lie before you advance to being able to control how much so kind of half full i think i've just about covered everything to a flop shot you just open it up oh i got a little bounce there if you can hear that in the sound i hit I hit the ground a fraction before the ball, which is not what I'm trying to do. I don't know why some people teach that, but I'm trying to be right underneath, like that, right underneath the ball. So you didn't hear two sounds in that. So those two, if, if they come out, the, the, the bounce beforehand is what you're trying to avoid. You're trying to get that clean slide underneath. Perfect. Okay, I am helping myself here a little i'm using a 64 degree wedge with 10 degrees of bounce that's a lot of bounce the bounce remember is how much the bottom of the club is below the leading edge so there's 10 degrees of edge here clearly if i if i was on the golf course the more so there's that bottom is 10 degrees lower than that if i open up the face you can see there if i open it up it actually becomes 15 20 degrees so that's why you wouldn't want to open up the face on a firm lie you'd actually bring the club up this way on a firm lie which you can see has no bounce so you don't want bounce when the when it's firm you want bounce when it's soft uh, okay the difference if i if i went into a bad lie i'm going to go in my divot here so i wouldn't want to lay the bounce back here and increase the bounce i want to keep the club face pretty square in this situation now i'm trying to get height so it's only a little, I'm going to open it up maybe 25 degrees open. I'm going to lean in on my left hand side, which is different if I'm hitting a full cut up shot. I'm nearly 40, 60% here on a full cut up shot. But on this shot where I'm in a tighter lie, I'm like 80% on my left hand side. Like so. So a perfect little cut up. It's more of a cut up shot than a flap shot. Flap shot. As I said, I won't, I won't be able to hit it that far with a flop shot. If, yeah, it's a good lie. I'm going to really lay it down. I got a little bit of golf ball there, but you can see, you can see that's an interesting one to look at. You can see the angle the golf ball went up the face like that, and you can see how much of the golf ball is left in the grooves. That's, that's a lot of spin on that. Even though a flop shot, you're generally not going for spin. You're going for height and softness, not, not spin. Uh, but this is a nice lie. Uh, that's about it to, to flop shots. Nothing more to it.